Hello guys, so today I'm off to Chilworth Golf Club in Southampton. I've never played it before, I've heard good reviews about the club, um, so I thought I'd give it a go, then I'll let you know what it's like during the round, and then I'll give you the review at the end. A nice size driving range so you can either go outside or you can go in the huts so just to warn you it does get extremely busy here so we've just got here we've just had to walk up a long gravel track um, which took about 10 minutes to get to the first hole it wasn't signposted so um, I had to ask a few people which way to go so anyway I'm here now at the first hole and we're ready to start so we're at the first hole, we're playing off the yellows again. It's 500 yards. We've got no planner to tell you where to go. So I'm taking it, we've got to go straight up to where the uh, red and white striped post is. Somewhere up there. just found my ball so there's the red and white post it looks like the green is directly up there so down the valley and up again ah, looks a good hole going down the valley just at the bottom here there's a little lake you have to go past or a river it looks like um, yeah nice hole this one good hole to start with That's the first green. Quite a nice size. If you go and quickly have a look at the sand over here. So yeah, that's the bunker. It's a little bit stony in there. It doesn't really look like sand to me, it's more like dirt. So um, hopefully the next ones will improve. 207 yards. So we're looking directly in front of us. Again, we've got to go back over the lake. Only a small green, this one. So the flag is directly in front of us, just up there. Um, it's quite a tight fairway. You should be okay. If you do go wayward, you will be able to get it back in again. So, but yeah, it's directly in front of us. Nice size green. So we've got a par 5 here, 516 yards. So again, you've got to head towards the red and white striped post up there. Directly in front of us, just about 100 yards, there is a ditch I can see. So you need to try and get over there if you can. But yeah, this is a long par 5, this one. So just up on the hill now, and you can see just in the distance the green there with one bunker just to the right hand side another nice size green on this hole and then there's the bunker just off to the side just walking into the bunker now just want to check it out just to see if it is sand yeah it is sand but it's very gritty I thought there were stones earlier, but not all it is is grit. So um, yeah, there's no stones in there. Nice bunker. It's got a little par three, 173 yards. Nice concrete seat there. And we're looking just up here. There's a bunker directly in front of it. So 
with just to the left of the green, there's the bunker. It's a nice size green to hit. Yeah, quite simple really this one. So this is the hardest hole on the course at 354 yards. Let's see why. So if we look down the hole, directly in front of us, you've got a bunch of trees and there's a lake in the middle. Just past there, you've got the green. So it looks like you're, you've got to go over the lake to get to the green. As I'm walking down the fairway, you've got two ditches either side, uh, which is out of bounds. So it does make it quite a tight fairway. Um, there is a little bunker just there. And as I said, the green is just past the, the little lake. So you've got to go over these trees to get to it. Three hundred and ninety-seven yards. Teeing off and back there. And we're going directly down the fairway here. They say it's the par four, but it's a very long par four. The green is directly in front of us, and that's a long way. Um, you've got tree lines either side. I'll hit one up and see how we get on. Fairways are nicely cut in. As I said, you've got trees either side, so if you do go wayward, you would still be okay. So heading towards the green. Again, it's a nice size green, and there is a bunker just to the right there. 282 yards. Not sure where this one goes because I can't see the flag, but it looks like this one could dog leg round to the right. Not sure if that's a bunker directly in front of us either. So we head up there. Yeah, I was right. So this hole does dog leg round to the right. Um, so I'm at my ball now. If I look directly at the green, you've got a bunker just to the right hand side. So when you do drive off, you can either go over the trees or you can go straight and head towards the bunker, which was in the middle of the fairway. Just heading over to hole number nine now. I just want to mention on every hole, you've got these concrete blocks made up. They're getting ready for when the winter months are here, ready to put the mat on. So that's good there. They're all set up ready. So par five here, 534 yards. So it's a par five. Um, it looks like it does dog leg round to the left slightly. I can't see the flag again, but you've got to head somewhere to the red and white flag. If you do go left, you could go into the rough and lose your ball. If you go right, um, it is quite open. So, um, but yeah, somewhere up there is where you've got to go. So walking up the fairway, there's a red and white post there to the right. Still can't see the flag. Oh, there it is, yep. Okay, so it's dog-legged round to the left over there, sharply to the left, through the trees. We're heading over to the tenth green now. Um, if you look to the right here, the first tee area is there, and just behind that bush, you've got the, uh, the green. It's tucked away, it's only small, and to be honest with you, it's not even worth using. So we've got a little par three here, 120 yards it says. No bunker, just directly in front of you. I've got it wrong, there is a bunker to the left-hand side. Don't really want to be getting that one, it is quite deep. And it is only a small green. That's the smallest green that I've seen so far, so that's on hole number 10. So 
So yeah, little par three. It is tight trees either side, so you can lose your ball on this one. It looks like there is a bunker just in front of the green. Again, it's only a small green. And there's the bunker just to the left there. Three thirty eight. Again, we can't see the flag on this one. I've got a feeling it does dog leg round to the right. I wouldn't use a driver in this hole. Um, so yeah, a little iron shot up and then see what you've got to the right. Still trying to find the green. I'm still trying to find the green. I thought it would dog leg round to the right. But it looks like it goes sharply round to the left. Yeah, it does. So you've got a, a bunker directly in front of you. So on your tee shot, you can just hit it straight. I would just use an iron. And then if you look round to the left, the flag is over there. That's the biggest bunker on the course that I've seen at the moment. Again, a small green. No bunkers around it. Four hundred and three yards. So it's another straight hole. Um, I don't know if there's any bunkers up there. I can just about see the tip of the flag. It's a yellow flag. Um, but we hit one up and we'll see what it's like. There is a bunker on this hole. That's the problem not having a diagram is to show you where everything is. So yeah, you've got a little one here. Thankfully I'm just out of it. And like I said, the flag is directly in front of us. It's the yellow flag just up there. Again, I don't know if there's any more bunkers up there, but I'll hit one up, let's have a look. There is a bunker here, just to the left-hand side. Um, I'm just over on the right here, but that's the green, and it's another small one. 408 yards. Okay guys, so you can't see the flag again. Um, I don't know if there's any bunkers up there, but you've got the red and white post directly in front of you. Um, it is a tight fairway. Um, don't go left or right, because you will lose your ball in this hole. So just going past the red and white flag now, there is a little bunker there, just on the side of the fairway. And the green is directly in front of us, just there. Again, there is a bunker just to the left hand side of the green. Um, and it is only a small green once again. Two nine eight, par four. Again, I don't know which way the hole goes. I think this one does double leg round to the left, but you've got a red and white post directly in front of it. So I'm gonna hit somewhere up there having a diagram so on this hole I've just directly went straight with my driver and I've gone into a lot of rough um, so yeah, this one does dog leg round to the left as you can see the green is just over there and I've gone straight into these trees somewhere but yeah we've got a head over there I found my ball it was on the other fairway so next time I won't use a driver and this is where these courses need a diagram to show you where you've got to go. So yeah, I'm back onto the fairway and I'm on my third shot to hit the green. So I finally got here and that's the green. This is probably the biggest one on the course so far. And just to the right of that, there is a bunker. So we've got a little par three here. It looks like it's over the trees, which makes it quite difficult. Um, and the yardage is 174, so I'm saying little, it's quite a long way for a par 3, and it's directly through the trees. So I've got my tailor-made M2 out, it's 22 degrees, I'm going to see if I can hit the green.
Once you go through the tight trees, there is a bunker there to the right. And then there's the green. This is the first green which has got a slope on it. Um, so this is probably the hardest green on the course. Um, so yeah, it's just an uphill putt. So on hole number 17, we're looking at 110 yards, uh, a nine iron. I'm gonna see if we can hit the green. Just off to the right hand side. So as I said, it's a little par three. You've got a bunker just in front of the green. And it looks a nice size green on this one. And that's the green. A nice size green on this one. Okay guys, so I'm off to the 18th now. Um, we're looking at 320 yards. It's a straight shot down the middle. Um, it's a tight fairway and there is a bunker directly in the centre. So what I'll do, I'll finish this hole, I'll pack up and I'll give you the verdict of the course at the end. A nice hole to finish on. Um, it's nice tree lines either side, and you've got two bunkers that you can see directly in front of you. So a little bunker just in front of the green. All packed up, I'll tell you a little bit about the course. So it's 5,700 yards off the yellow. Um, I found the first half better than the second. The second was a little bit bland, where the first half there's plenty of water that you've got to hit over, which makes the course more fun. The fairways are nicely cut in and there is plenty of sand in the bunkers. As you saw in the video, I did check because um, I thought there were stones, but no, it's pure sand. The greens, they're nice and quick. One of the disadvantages about the course is um, you don't have diagrams to see where you hit your ball. On one hole, I thought it was round to the right, but the flag was actually round to the left. Um, they charged me £28 today, which I thought was quite steep, um, being a Saturday afternoon. I would definitely play it again, um, but at £28 I do think it is quite expensive and you can go somewhere probably better. All in all I'd give this course a 7 out of 10. If you like the video please like or subscribe and follow me. Thanks for watching.